Today we're gonna to talk about how to create great sounding internet delivery mixes. And the enemy of creating great sounding internet mixes, which means they need to be loud, is bass frequency. And it just comes in and messes up everything and you know messes with your limiters and your compressors. And we wanna be able to keep them under control, reduce them, but also give the listener the belief that they're still feeling and hearing those bass frequencies, even though it's impossible because it's coming out of their little laptop or their iPhone earbuds or whatever. We can do that with a couple of plugins. And I'm gonna show you how to do that in a second. But let me, listen, let me show you what this sounds like without anything like that. This is from my Pilot Blade of Honor, a very kind of high impact sci-fi explosions and things. We're running the L3 multi maximizer right now to make it loud without going over. But notice how we're really missing low frequencies. We've got a lot of good high frequencies and upper mids and things like that. But let me show you what we can do by using low air as an example. And max bass as another example. And if you're not listening, you know, on laptop speakers or something else, you might not be able to notice. There's a lot of low frequencies down there. But let me show you what I'm doing. I'm going to open up what I've got here, and that is Renaissance EQ and Low Air, my first example. Let me turn those on. And you'll notice in Renaissance EQ, I've actually rolled off the bass very, very strongly from about 74 hertz and down. Well, why would I do that? Well, I don't want those super sub lows getting in the way of the mix and you know, adding, taking away my bandwidth. I don't want that at all. Let me show you what's happening here in low air. Low air is a really beautiful harmonic adding plugin that adds subharmonics, not over harmonics, super harmonics, subharmonics to your pro program material. And I've put this across the master stereo output of this mix. I'm gonna turn the direct sound down so you can hear just these low frequencies. And if you're listening on laptop speakers, you're not gonna hear anything. So get yourself to some good sounding headphones or good speakers. If I turn off the Renaissance EQ, you'll see what happens. There's lots of low frequencies and it's just kind of blowing up the low air. As you can see, it's going over and you can maybe even hear the distortion that's happening. And it's not really good. Harmonics in low frequencies are, you know, they go up for a long, long way. And your brain, and this is important, your brain will make you believe that the low frequencies are still there if all they hear are those upper harmonics and the lower harmonics are removed. What? I know, it's a little nuts. But if we take away those super low frequencies and we leave and maybe even help those higher harmonics, your brain thinks those low frequencies are there, even though those little laptop speakers can't possibly put out, you know, 40 hertz or whatever. So what I've done is cut out those low frequencies before it gets here, but then allow low air to add them back in, but only at a certain level. And that level is 85-ish hertz. I don't want it to go down below that because I'm gonna, I, you know, it'll just take up too much bandwidth. 85 to 90 hertz is about the right setting for us to add harmonics to those low frequencies so that our brains believe that those frequencies are there without killing our bandwidth. I don't want to use the low air setting because that adds frequencies that are even below that. I want to use just the low setting and I'm adding 20 decibels of low frequencies there at 86 hertz. Let's see what that sounds like again. With the REQ on. You know, it's kind of, you have a nice low frequency hum that's going on there. And when we add the direct sound back in. And off. And on. Off. On. 
It just adds a whole lot of body and the, 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 the bass drums are getting in there just a little bit, those harmonics. There's no bass drum in there. It's been cut off. You can see it here, just <laughs> cut. But because those overtones are being added, thanks to low air, it, your brain believes that it's there and we're not actually having to deal with any more bandwidth issues. This is one simple way, if you've got low air, to make this happen with a simple EQ like REQ. Here's the easy way to do it with Max Bass. Max Bass does all of this for us built in. And I've got, this is my favorite setting in the world, about 90 hertz or so. You can select which, hertz, which frequency you would like those harmonics to be uh, boosted at. I turn down the original bass amount and I turn up the max bass amount so that they're all at unity. And this is with it up at four decibels louder. If I turn this off, off, and bring back up the original bass, which is basically nothing is being changed. It's not really, it's the, it, just doesn't, it doesn't even have the same power as bringing up the max bass right around there at 80, the high 80 hertz or so. Let's listen to what the max bass is actually doing. And then together. And I'm actually adding a little bit of dynamics here. Um, I'll just zoom in so that you can see that, a 0 0.07, very, very little compression to those low frequencies. But again, this is a single plugin that kind of takes out the lows that we don't want, adds some great harmonics that we do want, and allows our internet mixes, as you can see down here, to be super loud. Without feeling like we're losing any low frequencies. And uh, there's a whole bunch of other ways to do this, but to me, using low air and max bass is the super easiest way of making it happen and get great control. You can also instantiate this across 5 1 if you'd like using special busing techniques that we talk about on Cinema Sound. If you're doing this and you've got some other settings that you like or having a great experience with other plugins doing this, let us know on the cinemasound.com forum and we'll discuss it and you know, maybe create something even better that none of us had ever thought of before. Until then, we'll see you in post. Even if you're